you've ever seen cool ads on YouTube or on Hulu from Nike, Adidas, all these big brands, and you wanna figure out who the hell edited this or who did all the animations for it, today I'm gonna to show you how to get into that industry. Commercial and film video editing is probably one of the biggest things you can do to increase your budgets and to start doing consistent work to kind of change your lifestyle a little bit because these budgets are really high and they need people. They need people just like you to edit these videos and to join a collaborative team. Today I'm gonna to share every secret I know after being a commercial video editor for 10 years and showing you how to get some of the biggest jobs and working with some of the biggest brands. Let's get into it. So first off, I wanna tell a story. I was 18 years old at the time and I didn't have any clue how to get into video editing and I came across working on short films with my friends. From there, that's how I learned how to edit videos and shoot things and make sure the shots looked right and the color grading. That's exactly how I learned that at 18 years old. I still can't believe till this day that we have made it this far. Along that journey, I learned that film was a lot of fun and commercial was a lot of fun, but they both came with their pros and obviously their cons. One of the main pros about video editing for commercials and films is that the budgets are through the roof and they need people just like you to edit those videos and to hop on a collaborative team and to make this campaign come to life. Because in commercial, it's all about campaigns. It doesn't matter how many views they got. It's all about how many sales they make, how many people are sharing this video. That's a huge thing inside of the commercial industry. It's all about making money and it's all about converting everything into sales, which is a little different compared to YouTube videos. It's kind of just for views and trying to get traffic and different things. But when you're spending millions of dollars on an ad, like think about how much Nike and Adidas and these people spend on ads. And think about if you can't get their return on investment on how much money they spend on these ads. I can assure you, you probably won't work for them ever again. It sucks, but usually in commercial, you have that one time to get it right. And if you get it right, your commercial career will continue to grow. And if you get it wrong, everybody will know about it. The good thing is though, it's not all on you as the editor. There are a lot of moving parts inside of commercial work and film work. There are cinematographers, there are directors, there are producers, there are assistant directors, there are set designers and decorators. There are a lot of jobs inside of commercial film and TV that allow you to kind of just do your work. You don't have to do everything else. You can focus on just the one thing, putting the project together and delivering it off. Although your job is one of the hardest. When I would edit commercials every single month, that was one of the hardest things I had to deal with was getting these deadlines and going through 10 rounds of revisions because the client wanted a certain thing. At the end of the day, the budget made it all worth it. So I wanted to go over a couple of ways to get actually into this industry. And one of them is actually portfolio building. How do you build a portfolio of films and TV and commercials and you can't even get booked on any of these type of jobs? What I did was something a little bit smarter. Me and my friends would go out and make short films every single month to try to get used to framing and getting good at different things. But if you're a video editor, one of the best things you can do is actually just ask to do free work. If you get on a free project as an assistant editor, you don't have to be the biggest. You're not gonna get paid as much, but the experience will be all worth it. I spent a lot of time working underneath other people and colorists that were way better than me. It all worked out well for me. I was able to work on projects that went to Hulu and went to Netflix and Tubi. And I have commercials that were shown on broadcast television. It all came from just laying back and just doing what somebody asked me to do. Another way is to do spec work. Spec means speculation, which means that you and your friends will come together and make a fake Nike video or a fake Hulu ad. Post your work online and show this to people and say, hey, this is what I can do for you. Here are the edits, here are the animations, here's everything else. What do you guys think? And this is how you can start building a portfolio up in the commercial world. Of course, it is a little bit longer. The commercial world is gonna be tough because there's a lot of money involved and there's a lot of risk involved. But I can assure you, once you're in, you are in. One other important aspect that I would say is to get hired at an agency. Getting hired in an agency is actually one of the smartest ways to get your hands on commercial work as well, because most of the time the agency is already negotiating with the client and all they need is you or any other creatives to come in and help put together this masterpiece. So one of the best ways to do that is by going through an agency or getting in contact with a creative director at an agency and asking if they need any help. You can literally look this up on LinkedIn, Instagram, but I like LinkedIn to make sure that I can get in contact with them and ask if they need any help or if they're looking for any additional people on their production. Now, most of the time, you're gonna have to get in contact with a creative director or a producer. Producers are the people who put together the production team, keep things on schedule and hand out budgets and give out dates, all that good stuff. Producers are looking for a couple of things. Producers are looking for relevant work and recent work. Those are the main two things they're looking for. Also, they wanna make sure that you've been trusted. They're gonna look up your name and check around and ask people in the area, do you know this person? If they say no, it will be a little bit harder for you because your budget might be a little bit lower because they don't know you or your work may not be be as good as somebody else's who's way more expensive than you. Now let's say you get hired, you kill it on the video, the production team's happy, the client's happy, you're waiting to get paid. This is where some of the cons come in. Most
most of the time, payment for commercials or films usually is about net 30 or 60 days. I think it's a little ridiculous to have to pay people in 30 or 60 days after they've already done the work. But since these companies are big brands and are working for big brands, the way they feel is let the creatives wait. We'll make sure we get paid first and we'll pay them whenever we feel like it. I think it's a little toxic that way, but that's the way that it's ran in the commercial and the TV and film industry. Now, how do you get more work and continue staying relevant inside of the commercial industry? One of the smartest ways I did it was posting my work on social media and building a personal brand on Instagram or LinkedIn and staying in contact because every day there are productions that you could be helping on. And that means you can make a full-time income and get paid every single month to make dope ads that get shown on TV or get shown on Hulu or streaming sites. And the best way to do that is by staying in contact with the producers, building trust, continue with posting, and start building your personal brand on LinkedIn and Instagram, or even YouTube, just like this video here. So I gave away all the sauce about becoming a commercial video editor today. If you guys take and use all this information, I can guarantee you, you will be on your first production in no time, and you'll actually be able to negotiate the rate that you want and learn how to pitch more and learn how to get better at selling to clients, because at the end of the day, that's all it's about. There are people that are less talented than you that are getting paid way more than you, and that is because they know how to pitch themselves, and they know what the client wants. So if you liked everything in this video and you wanna learn more about how to get into commercial video editing, join my link down in the description below. I have a Discord full of freelancers ready to help you out and show you the way to get constant video editing jobs. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can keep getting more of these valuable videos, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.